Now this right here is some great news. How many of you guys remember this man right here? UK Jihad preacher Anjem Choudhury. Even as a Muslim back then, I remember listening to this guy, people like him. Who else? Zakir Nayak, Ahmed Didat, um, Shabir Ali. Some of the few guys that were my go-to guys, you know, to defend Islam. How many people remember Zach and Eric's favorite videos? Busting out Bible verses. John chapter number 5, verse number 15. Uh, Matthew number number 2, number 222. Two, 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 two. X number 5, 212, 323. Two, two, three. <laughs> and you're like, man, this guy know what he's talking about. <laughs> I guess I don't need to do my research, huh? He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Anjim Chodhi found guilty of leading a banned terror group faces life in prison. Though I'm happy about that, but I, I'm like this. Why waste any more taxpayers' money feeding these people unless he repents? Lord knows, you know, for me, I would be like death penalty right away. This guy right here, man, I remember back in those days, man. I know a lot of stuff changed my mind when I first left the early days when they had that program with, I think it was um, Pastor Joseph, um, David Wood, Sam Shamoon, and I think Brother Tony Costa, some of the early people in the early 2000s. And I remember him coming on doing these debates, man. That's why a lot of my shift began to change, man. The way how they brought their argument, going back and forth with the uh, with the book, and realize, man, these people did their homework. Let's take a look and find out. Islamist preacher facing life in jail after being found guilty of directing band terror group by Jane Princely from the JC. What does the JC means? What news company? The JC.com. Probably a British one, but I'll go back. They already pulled it off from there. I'll read it through Jihad Watch. Radical Islamist cleric who led a banned terror group and sought support for the group online has been convicted after a transatlantic investigation. Anjim Chowdhury, 57 years old from Ilford, East London, has been found guilty of directing a banned Islamist terror group, Al Muhajirun, ALM, and encouraging support for the group online. The preacher was accused of running ALM, an organization first banned under UK anti-terror laws in 2006 and prescribed under the current name in 2010. Chaudhry was charged with encouraging support for the group, a charge which he denied. Arrested a year ago, Chaudhry was found guilty on Tuesday after a trial at Woolwich Crown Court directing the terrorist group and addressing meetings encouraged support for the prescribed organization. A second man, Khaled Hussein, 29, from Edmonton, Canada. Yeah, you got all these dirtbag Islamists in Canada too. Thank you, Trudeau, you little weakling. Was found guilty of belonging to a proscribed organization. Hey, at least that's good news to hear. Islam will be exposed. You can talk the talk. Your days of trying to slaughter mankind is over. Your judgment has came. Sure, you get away with these other little places doing the most coward way, murdering innocent civilians. Well, you know, I know how you guys are in the real battlefield. We'll run, throw the white flag up right away. Because as always, the false god is not going to be there to save you. He's not going to be there to save Gaza. Why? Because even your own false book says Israel is the chosen people. Another one, even though Palestine is not mentioned in the Quran, but Surah 5 and Surah Maida, it talks about Moses says to go take the land and get rid of these people. Yeah, you're very own Allah's talking about you, Palestinians. Get rid of them, these pagans. See, this is why Muslims ideology is unstable. Nowhere in history talks about Jerusalem belongs to them, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The word Al-Aqsa means the farthest. 
You know, even Aisha knew he was a phony baloney. Whatever dream he was thinking about the Al-Aqsa. Talk about the farthest mosque back in Mecca. Heck, even there, at least some honest Muslims. I remember that one Saudi guy, if you guys remember. That was almost seven, eight months ago when the war broke out. There was a Saudi guy that came online breaking it down. And even admits that, you know, Israel belongs to their land. Al-Aqsa wasn't mentioned about being over there. And how could Muhammad even go there? When that that mosque was built like somewhere what in the 10 hundreds or 11 hundreds I believe it was But anyways, I don't want to go side with this article But guys like share it pass it along of this amazing news finally justice is served by this dirtbag packy Islamist background That's right if you guys know about Pakistan a waste of independence but Share it along, guys. Despite the problems in the world, justice will be served. Lefties, you better start waking up. Better get your lazy mindset with your whole freaking equality thinking, diversity thinking, coexist. Look, this is the real world. Coexist is not in the Islamic definition. Oh, they'll use you if they're the minority to get what they want. And then you'll get played so badly. Because that's all part of the modern agenda. And I used to be a part of that. So, God bless you all. Talk to you guys soon. And maybe one more, one more. I'll throw another article in. Of the religion of the Reese's Pieces slash demonic forces. God bless.